Welcome everyone, my name is Naivin, and today we are playing Heradonia, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. This is a horror game I found on h.io, this is an alpha demo. I clicked on English, and let's start the game. Let's see what this game has to offer. And it's loading. Oh, all right. Um, all right. This is a cutscene. Is this us? I guess this is us. All right, calm down, calm down. I think she maybe suffered a trauma. Maybe head trauma? I don't know. Depends on what a department this is. Um, Alright. It's locked, so we have to find the key. Alright, do we have a flashlight? No, we don't have a flashlight. Is this open? I pressed the button, but the elevator doesn't come. It is broken or something. Alright, uh, what about this door? Oh, thank you. Um, Nothing here. All right. Maybe something probably here. No. It's. Uh, does this door open? Yes. Oh, flashlight. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is no meter on the flashlight. That means that I can use flashlight as long as I want. Um. Well, let's see. Did I miss anything in here? It's locked. All right. So. Um, all right, this is open. This is locked. This is open. Uh, this looks like an intensive care unit, I guess. What's this? Well, I'm clicking on it, but it doesn't work. Anyways, what's in here? Nothing much. Uh, this door is... What? What was that sound? Weird. Let's just don't follow weird sounds. So this is broken. Lock is broken. Oh, this one. What does this say? Uh, something, something. I don't know. So those are either uh, medication, yeah. So usually they have boxes for medications or syringes. Just for you to know. And also, different type of uh, medication doesn't necessarily need. Oh, cool! Oh, we can hit the, we can hit the, hit everything, anything we want. Can we hit this? Oh, this is missing. All right, let's go. So usually they have syringes or pills in um, the boxes. Depends. Uh, what? Hello. Hi! Alright. Ah, uh, the door is locked. Oh, this is open. Alright. Uh, oh, note. Doctor's diary. Today was one of the worst days in the hospital. My god, what a situation. Down was chaos and that poor woman survived by a miracle. But how can it, po can it be possible she was practically dead? I fear that the state she is in now will cause further damage to her psychological condition. It's the first time I've seen such a thing in my life. Well, depends on the trauma. It doesn't if if the trauma is really severe or heavy, it doesn't really cause a psychological damage. It causes more brain damage. Oh, handle a doorknob. Alright. Found the doorknob. Oh, can we open this? Is there anything in here now? Uh, this doesn't work. Alright, let's uh, go and open the room which didn't have the doorknob. And that was... Which door again? Oh, this door. Yes, open. Great. A screwdriver. Alright. Um, what's this? 
Jonas, I had to leave quickly to solve a family problem. I left that medicine I found with the patient in the office drawer. Could you do me a favor by taking the pills to the lab for analysis? Here's the key. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the key. So this is a drawer that didn't open here on the first floor. Let's go and uh, open this drawer. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. I'll be taking those pills. Thank you. Yes, I just hit it. Can we just break the door? No. So, uh, what's this? Um, can we interact with this? No. Alright. We can't interact with this. Um, so we need, I think we need, so we got a screwdriver, right? So the only way we can use that screwdriver is the, oh, the monster is gone, or whatever there was, wow. So there's an elevator here, so, oh, I took off the elevator panel, oh, so we can use it, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I thought, because there was no other way the elevator had uh, needed a panel, all right. So, uh, does this work? Yeah. Let's go to the first floor. No, second floor. Um... Oh, first floor? So we're going on the first floor. I'm ready to strike. Alright. What's in here? It's locked. Oh, hold on. Oh, I got the key. Huh? All right. Ah, uh, let's. I guess go down. Does this elevator go down? I have no idea, but we'll see. If this thing opens. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. And, uh, oh, what is this? Oh, strange little bell. Oh, I guess the bell, all right, all right. So here it goes. So the bells were used, I think, it was a long time ago, they were used to uh, identify the death of a patient. For example, if the clinical... The, so there is a difference. There is a uh, clinical death and there is like death death. So in the case, if a heart stops, uh, then it's kind of uh, not full death, let's say. But when the brain stops, then it's clinical death, like full death. I, I'm sorry for my physiology, I will definitely uh, do better job explaining that, but yeah, basically, if the person was not dead, they used to put the bells on their feet, and when they would awaken, the bell would start ringing, so that's how they knew the person was, like, alive. Uh, is this it? Oh, whoa, alright, this, this thing scared me, alright. Hey, little buddy. Oh my god. This looks like a little kid. Um, hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm not going to hit you because you look like a kid and I'm not going to do that. Yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, bye. Get juked. What? Did she just... Oh, bye. Take care. I'm sorry. Good luck. Bye. Oh, she just walks by herself. Oh, that's cute. And I guess that's the game. Oh. All right.
right. So, yeah, it was a good game. I really enjoyed the demo. I hope the full game would have. Uh, I hope the full game will have some additional, um, like monsters, more less cute monsters, I guess. And uh, even though it scared me, uh, it was still like a little cheesy, I guess. Overall, the game is good. It's uh, it's a fine demonstration of the work they the developer might be doing. And uh, yeah, I hope this project uh, sees its end and the full release. I will definitely play if it will be available. Um, and uh, yes, this was... Uh, the game. Thank you everyone for watching and have a good day.